Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, we're out on the Triumph, uh, the all new tri Triumph Tiger Rally Export Explorer, new for 2022. Uh, yeah, this is the all singing and all dancing model, this one. Um, it's actually got the, also got the 30 litre fuel tank on here as well. So uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm looking forward to jumping on this. Not really rode many, uh, you know, adventure bikes before in the past, so fairly new to me. Oh, I like these little indicators as well. I wonder if they're the scrolling ones. But yeah, lovely looking bike. Very, very large uh, in the flesh. Uh, it's also, you know, a little bit intimidating. Um, but anyway, we'll jump on and we'll see what she's all about. <laughs> Doesn't seem to lean over very far on the old side stand either, so... Uh, It's got the T-plane crank this as well, so uh, it gives you that that nice feel to, uh, to the engine there and sound. You know when the revs are low, when the revs are low. But uh, not been down this route before actually. It's probably the perfect bike for this. <laughs> Gosh, he's got some go. Um, see what mode we're in actually. It's six, five or six rider modes, I think. Uh, we're on road at the moment. Yeah, we'll leave it on road. Actually, uh, road. Yeah, we'll leave it on there. Okay. So yeah, this is a uh, 1160cc three-cylinder. And I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what, they, they sound absolutely wonderful these triples. But like I say, this one being the T, the T-plane crank. I mean, yeah, she sounds absolutely wonderful, low down, loads of, I mean, yeah, I'm in fourth gear there, the revs are, the revs are next to nothing, and uh, it's quite happy to chug along there, let's slow it down a little bit, <laughs> getting carried away, <laughs> uh, yeah, semi-active suspension, you can see there, actually, you can see all the, the lines there, uh, going into the shocks, it's got all the trimmings, um, actually heated seat as well. I'll turn that on, see what that feels like. I'll turn those heated grips on as well. All comes as standard on this machine. I will pull over in a little one and I'll do a thorough walk round of the bike in the usual way. What's she like to turn around? You can't feel any of that weight, to be honest. Uh, you know, once you're rolling, even, even you know, they're at low, down spe low speeds. I mean, even in road mode there, I'll tell you, she's got some punch. She's got some punch. She's definitely got some punch. Uh, Six-speed gearbox as well. It's also got the, the Triumph shift assist, shift assist. So it's got the blipper as well for the downshifts. Um, hydraulic clutch as well. You can see the reservoir there with the fluid in. Um, yeah. Cruise control. Um, yeah. Feel those heated grips warming up already. The the TFT display on there, the seven-inch TFT display, is uh, it reminds me much of the the new Speed RS and the Speed RR display there. So you press the button there, and it turns sort of to the side. And you got all your your info there. I'm not going to go into too much detail there while I'm riding, but yeah, press the home button. There you go. Um, not really loads of information on there. Uh, I know it's got things like tyre pressure monitoring on here as well. It's also got the uh, the radar uh, assist, you know, on the... She likes to stand up on. Yeah, okay. Lovely gearbox there as well. No issues there with the gearbox with the gear changing. Take a right here. It's very tall this bike, so I am literally on my tiptoes. Um, that's one thing I noticed when I went to put the side stand down. That um, if the bike the bike's not on level level ground there, uh, it's a little bit tricky because the bike doesn't seem to lean over very far. 
on the side stand. And it's got a centre stand as well on here. We'll check, we'll test the brakes out, 60 mile an hour. Do the front. We, yes, lots of nosedive there on the forks. Uh, we'll try front and rear. Nothing behind me. I felt the ABS kick in a little bit there on the rear. No issues with the brakes. It's got the Stylema brakes on here as well. Very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable, I must say. I've uh, got the screen in the uppermost position. It is now, anyway. Not getting any wind, really. Uh, mirrors. Uh, no, no real vibes through the mirrors. No real vibes through the uh, the seat, really, or the or the pegs. A little bit windy today, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, nevertheless, the sun's out, so I'm happy. Happy to be out on another uh, another ride out review. Hello, sir. It's a street triple RS. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Cough, very windy. Hit that subscribe button, hit the old notification bell. We much appreciate to have you along. Lots more content coming to the channel uh, in the future. Seem to be using the clutch there, actually, rather than the quick shifter. <laughs> uh, very, it is very, very comfortable. I can feel that heated seat warming up now as well. Pretty sure that's for the rear, on the rear, the pillion seat as well, that. Um, very nice, very nice indeed. It's got loads of punch. Let's try sport mode, shall we? Uh, probably not the best place to do it. We've got there. We go. <coughs> One thing I have noticed with this bike as well. I mean, we're, I'm in fifth gear and I'm doing 45 mile an hour, uh, and you can open her up and she'll pull like a train, you know. Slow down a bit more, that 35 mile an hour. And she'll pull no issues at all. No issues. Like I say, we'll pull over, stay tuned, we'll pull over and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this bike. I can feel the the, uh, the seat warming up now as well. <laughs> like I said earlier, we've got the 30 litre fuel tank as well. This one being the, the Rally Explorer. I'm using that clutch again. Uh, yeah. Self-cancelling indicators as well on here. I don't know if they're set up on here though at the moment. Loads of, uh, I think it's up to 50, 50 uh, genuine accessories as well on this model. I mean this one is fully load laden as well. This has got, um, it's got the, 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 the fog lights as well or the additional lighting on here. Keyless ignition and filler cap as well. So, uh, not too sure I'm a massive lover of that, but um, yeah, keyless anyway. Yeah, it does feel a very large uh, motorcycle. Like I say, when you look at it, it's very intimidating. Uh, but once you once you're on it, it's it's, uh, it's you kind of lose all of that uh, that worry really. It's mainly when you're just sort of I don't know. Probably when you'd be moving it around your your garage or whatever, you don't want to you don't want to drop the bike. Uh, it's got a hill hold as well on here. It all comes standard with this this uh, model. So uh, yeah, very nice shaft driven as well. So you've got no issues with um, tightening the you know having to continuously adjust the chain. Uh, and this also this one being the, ex the Explorer, you know the Rally. Sorry, it's uh, it's got the spoked wheels, and they're laced on the outside of the rim actually. So you know that'll allow for your tubeless tyres. Yeah, first impressions, very very comfortable. Like I say, I've not ridden many adventure uh, bikes, but I say this one is really top of the tree for you know this range. I think there's sort of five maybe four or five in the range. Nice place there to pull over and do the walk round actually. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I am impressed so far. Right, so I can feel that seat warming up uh, wind-wise, what we're getting here. Right. Nothing here, nothing here. Getting the wind sort of just hit, hitting me, well, not really even hitting me there. 
So I'm, I am completely out of the wind. Uh, I'm five foot seven, um, thirty-one inside uh, leg. That's only used to you, and not like I say I, I, I am. I'm touching, uh, just about touching the ground with the balls of my feet, really. Uh, you know, when I'm manoeuvring this bike around or you know, at a standstill, a little bit uncomfortable in that respect, but yeah. Very nice, very nice. Well, the sun seems to have uh, gone in, actually. But it's not raining, so... Can't really grumble too much. Yeah, it's quite happy plodding, plodding along here. Uh, we make an excellent, well it is, you know, excellent sort of adventure tour or so. It's got that uh, additional, additional size of uh, fuel tank there as well. I mean, what with the price of fuel, I'd hate to think what that would cost to fill up now. <laughs> Here in the UK. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things, unfortunately. Yeah. My feet are in a lovely position here on the pegs. Um, absolutely lovely. No, uh, no issues there at all. Those heated grips are warming up nicely now. Uh, three different levels on them as well. We were on the hottest one then. I'll turn them off now. I think I'll turn the heated seat off. <laughs> it looks like there's different levels on that as well. Yeah, two different levels, I think. Yeah, first impressions. Very nice, very nice triumph. Very nice. Uh, you could do with a little bit more information on that screen, though, I must say. Uh, it's only really got... I mean, it's there, it'll be available, but... I don't, I, I mean, I, I'm not a lover of messing with, with all this while I'm riding anyway. Uh, you know, obviously for obvious reasons, but you'd have to d dig a bit deeper in there to find out, you know, other information. Nice to see a full tank of fuel here as well. Uh, I will stick some fuel in before we take the bike back. But um, it's always nice, you know, if there's fuel in the bike. Uh, it's, a, it's a bonus. It's got the outside temperature there as well, 20 degrees. And I've got the daytime running lights on as well. Switch gear on here. Um, yeah, standard sort of Triumph. Well, it's the up, it's up market, but it's kind of what I'm familiar with. With uh, very similar to my Street RS actually. Oh, so uh, yeah, my feet are literally just on the balls there on the on the road. Ooh, let some air in. So it's a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit. Yeah, I mean there is there is different. Uh, sea heights as well, the adjustable seat on, on here as well. No, sir. Nice. Make it nice and easy through, nice and easy through here. <coughs> But yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure that uh, it's an adjustable seat um, on here, so um, maybe I would have to look into that if I was in the market for uh, you know, for one of these. So it's a little bit unnervy for me when I'm, not say, when I'm stopping and putting my feet down. <laughs> a bit different than my street RS. I can put I, I can put my feet flat on the ground, flat on the deck with that, but yeah really is a pleasure to ride though. Pleasure to ride. I don't know if I've got a screen uh, protector on there actually there's a lot, lots of little bubbles on there. Maybe it's um, yeah, because it's a new machine. Uh, what else can I tell you? Horn. Wait for this lorry to get out of the way. Seemed a bit of a delay then when I pressed that. But yeah, standard type of horn there, nothing nothing to write home about. Uh, we'll put the screen down a little bit there. Uh, still not really get this not really getting battered by the wind. I mean I'm only doing 50, 50 mile an hour indicated on there. But uh, I like to look over the screens to be honest. Uh, rather than looking through them. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments. Uh, you know what do you think of this so far? I do you own one? Have you you know have you have you bought one? Have you had any problems with one? 
It's certainly got some grunt. <laughs> uh, so that's 1160cc, uh, classed as a 1200 uh, in the 1200 range. Um, 12 valve, double overhead cam, three cylinder. I'll pull over just up here and I'm going to give you a thorough walk around of this lovely machine. I'll run through all of the specs. Hello, sir. Actually, that's a guy I've just seen at the dealers there. He's now taken out the other one, the, um, the GT. So it'd be interesting to know his thoughts uh, on the GT. Uh, pull in just up here. On the left. Nice tank, on tank on there. A lovely place to stop and do a walk around, eh? Wow. Seventh Armoured Division, Desert Rats. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Right, I'll jump off and I'll give you a full walk around of this lovely machine. Oh! Sounds nice. It's got a nice slimline exhaust there as well. I don't know if that's too, uh, too, uh, you know, obviously to make room for those side uh, boxes. Well, anyway, let's turn her off and I'll give you a thorough walk around of this machine. Right, so here it is, the Ti Triumph Tiger 1200 Rally Explorer. Liquid cool, 12 valve double overhead cam with an inline three cylinder, and it's 1160cc uh, engine there, basically with a T T plane uh, crank arrangement. So uh, basically, what you're getting there is you're getting that. Uh, it's kind of like I don't know how to, how to explain it. It's like uh, riding a twin when the revs are low, low. You know, when you've got the revs lower down the rev range, power. It's giving you 150 PS or 148 brake horsepower. Uh, in English money is 110.4 kilowatt at 9,000 RPM and also 130 newton meters of torque at 7,000 RPM which is to be honest plenty I mean I never had it in uh, I only really sort of had had it in road mode for a while there and just sort of tickled the uh, the sport mode a little bit but seemed absolutely fine um, what we got so we've got a hydraulic wet multi-plate slip assist clutch and it's also got the the triumph shift assist uh which again has got the uh, the auto blipper as well for the downshifting shaft driven as well so you've got no issues there with any maintenance uh low maintenance on on that no issues with uh, adjusting the chain tubular steel frame with a forged aluminium outriggers fabricated bolt-on aluminium rear subframe a twin-sided trilink aluminium swinging arm with twin aluminium torque arms as well you can see them in there um, it's also got some sort of reservoir there as well for your in your uh, for your suspension there as well uh, wheels uh, front wheels are 21 inch spoked spoked wheel uh, again for you know enable, enabling the wheels uh, the wheels to be tubeless so the tyres are tubeless there. What we got on the rear? The rear is 18 inch on the rear. Uh, what are the tyres on here? Yeah, Metzler Carew Street tyres. So it's kind of like a bit of a mix there between your, you know, your, your off and on road tyres there. Suspension, the front suspension is the Showa 49 millimeter semi-active damping uh, upside down forks with 222, 220 millimeters of travel. And that's something I did notice. Uh, I haven't really played around with the suspension, but I did notice that it did dive around quite a lot. The rear suspension is a semi-active uh, damping mono shock with automatic electronic preload adjustment. 220 mil millimeter wheel travel uh, on the on that one. Brake. So the front brakes are the Brembo M430 Stylema monoblock uh, radial calipers. And uh, the stop and power there was just uh, had absolutely no issues there with, <coughs> with the stop and power there at all. Uh, done my usual test, took the bike up to 60 mile an hour, and uh, yeah, no issues there whatsoever with the brakes. Uh, and you shouldn't do really with the Stylema calibers anyway. So it's got the OC ABS as well on here. Uh, not too sure what the OC stands for. Let me know in the comments if you've got any idea what that stands for. 
uh, the twin 320 millimeter floating discs as well on there absolutely brilliant uh, yeah the span HC1 span adjustable uh, radial master cylinder as well in there you can see that in there which is very handy on the rear you have uh, your Brembo uh, single caliper single pot caliper uh, again OC ABS a single 282 millimeter disc there rear master cylinder with remote reservoir okay which is there you can see the shock absorber in there as well it looks like it's got the uh, the stacked gearbox as well in there moving on to the display there you've got a full seven inch tft um instrument pack with my triumph connectivity as well uh, i've not tried to connect to it but it's got six rider modes that's come on this side so what i like about this is when you you, you press that mo uh, mode button there and the, the whole dash turns to the side there and there's all your rider modes in there i think you have the other ones you have to adjust maybe with a bike running maybe we'll leave it in sport actually and then press the home button there adjustable screen there as well which is adjustable um very easily by you can do it on the on the move as well by just sliding that up and down very easy there indeed to do that um wheelbase if you're interested in all these figures um 1560 millimeters is the wheelbase with a rake of 23.7 degrees on this model the seat height as well i will mention that it's adjustable it actually is adjustable so 875 to 895 millimeter so i'm not quite sure how you go in there and adjust that i'm not going to be pulling all that about today but yeah it is adjustable the slight adjust adjustment fuel tank like i've said before 30 litre fuel tank and uh basically the wet weight the, the wet weight of the bike is 261 kilos service intervals of the bike 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers or 12 months whichever comes first yeah the bike includes three years unlimited mileage warranty as well uh this one being the the rally explorer comes with these um blind spot radar detectors there as well on the mirrors uh, and also adap adaptive corner and lighting uh, the buttons as well they're all backlit so uh you just see that shining free there now actually um which is good uh, as i said before heated seats are standard and also you've got tire pressure monitoring as well and this is all this all comes on this uh, on this model but the price of the bike is 9100 and that's for snowdonia white it comes in three colors or you've got 19300 for the sapphire black or this one which is the matte khaki green is yeah top this top price so 9000 uh, sorry 19400 of course 9000 that would have been a cheap bike uh, there's also a massive range of uh, i think over 50 genuine accessories you know all comes complete with triumph's warranty as well i mean look at that you start the bike up yeah it's actually got scrolling indicators as well there and it's also i've got the other lights on there as well so yeah it comes fully loaded this one let's have a look from the rear brand new for 2022 yeah i love them scrolling indicators absolutely lovely then let's turn them off turn the daytime runner lights back on so that's your daytime runner light there very nice very nice indeed what else can i tell you looks very comfortable on there on the rear there for the pillion obviously you'd have all your you can have to just turn the bike off for a minute you can have your you know your luggage uh cases on there as well if you wanted to go touring yeah very nice all these crash bars on here so should you drop the bike worst case um you know you, you shouldn't have too many issues issues there so what else can i tell you anything i did notice is like i'm saying is it doesn't seem to lean over very far on the side stand so you'd have to be aware, be aware of that it does have a center stand as well however no need to uh worry about adjusting the chain because there is no chain i like it how you can see in here how all these spokes are laced on the hub here into the outside of the rim nice little hugger there keep the uh the spray off you yeah overall very impressed very impressed quite like the color as well it comes like i say it comes in three different colors this one being the more expensive color not by much but it's all keyless as well so i've got the key in my pocket no issues no issues at all home button 
hazards, engine kill switch, heated grips, uh, daytime running lights, main beam, that's your full beam, that one there. Um, got your other, your other running lights for these ones here. That's your switch there. Heated seats, switch, cruise control. I think it's the two touch uh, cruise control as well. So you basically <coughs> press it once to set you, to set the speed, press it once to set the cruise control. Uh, mode button there, indicators. Uh, they will be self cancelling, but I don't think they're set up on the bike actually. Horn, yeah. Fairly loud when I'm off the bike, actually, the horn, without the helmet on. Um, yeah, so overall, yeah, very good, very good vis visibility through those mirrors. Been lovely and comfortable there for your pillion on the back there. I like this slim, slim line exhaust as well. Um, yeah, nice white trellis frame there. Yeah, very good. I think, you know, obviously it's not my bike, so I'm not going to go taking it off-road. Um, but I think, you know, what you would have to be weary of is of the sheer size of the bike, really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, right, I think we should jump back on and ride some more. It's actually very easy to manoeuvre around at low speeds. No issues at all. Um, yeah, what a, what a lovely, what a brilliant memorial there. The tank. You know, I've been past here so many times. And uh, never noticed that. That quick shifter and blipper, well, the quick shifter up going up the box end is just silky smooth. Absolutely silky smooth. And they all are, really. I mean, generally, you might get a little bit of. Uh, clunkiness when the bikes are new but I mean, this, I mean this is brand new I don't know what the mileage is on this one but and there's there's certainly no issues there nothing to worry about um, 360 camera still hanging on in there yeah hopefully getting some good shots of that today I will just pull over in a minute and move that <laughs> yeah well, overall very impressed um, I mean I, I can't really comment on this, uh, you know, between this and the GS because, uh, believe it or not, I haven't actually rode the GS, so maybe that's what I need to put on the cards. Uh, I hear a lot of good press about it, and uh, there is rumours that they're bringing out another one, a new one. So uh, I'm well behind to that. <laughs> uh, I'll take it right here. Nice Porsche. I was actually using the clutch then, again. I seem to do that quite a lot. See if the indicators turn off. Like I say, they're probably not set up. You have to set it up in the menu. Uh, no, I'll turn them off. Yeah, I don't think you can go too far wrong. Like I say, get yourself out to the local dealer. Uh, and if you're in Norfolk, get yourself over to Norfolk Triumph. You can actually go and test ride this exact bike. You can take this 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 model out. Um, yeah, a lovely bunch over there. It's quite happy just to sit there and plod on, really. This lovely, absolutely lovely. <laughs> She's got some performance as well. Oh, I mean, it is a, it's 1160cc, so there's plenty there in the tank. <laughs> plenty. Well, I really do appreciate you joining me today uh, for this first ride review. Like I say, it's only a first ride review, so I've only had the bike, sort of got the bike for a little while, so um, it really is my first ride impressions. And uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video, so uh, take care, see you soon.